Watching my calls is calling Freedom is frolicking Autumn lined streets with the leaves And the trees still falling I'm calling me Gnome is odd as an ottoman Without a couch you can call a friend Calling my friends when I wanna find peace Inside all of this constantly wandering mess I keep leaving Weaving my tapestry Seeing my being is bigger than ever Everything is just a reason For me to keep breathing and bleeding And finding that peace in my demons is love Love for the way that the wind Blow me wayward again the channel. I hope that your day is off to an amazing start. And if this is your first time here, well, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And to all my existing subscribers, welcome back, baby, to another jam-packed motivational video. You already know that your support is greatly appreciated. Okay, y'all. Y'all see where I'm at. I'm going to kind of do things just a little bit different today. I already decorated this room off camera, but I already told you guys what and how I was going to be doing it. So today, I just want to go over my thought process and get up close and personal with you so you can see what I did. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Oh, but wait. I'm forgetting something before we jump into the video you know that i have been talking and talking to you guys about elevating your space elevating your decor elevating your aesthetic and i'm still on that kick okay i want you guys to elevate your space so you can have a beautiful inspired model home but first i need you to like this video share this video subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you could be notified every time i upload y'all let's get into this so i can help you motivate your space let's do it Toodles! <music> That I want to get into is my beautiful credenza and tell y'all okay so if y'all remember seeing this video prior to y'all remember seeing this color should I say because this is the color that I used for Easter I use pretty much the same colors I have on now the white the greens and the browns but I love this green so much because it's such a beautiful spring summer color. And I am now decorating my house for early summer. So I wanted to keep that color green because it's so pretty and I never ever hardly use this color. So these beautiful um, florals, well this is not a floral so I'm going to call it a stem. I get these from Hobby Lobby and they're so elegant and so cute. So I love the way that these look in my space because you guys know, if you know me, you know that I love me some white. These gold beautiful vases, I get these from Ross. Um, and then I just got my two books, this candle that I made. I'm in the candle making business, if y'all did not know. <laughs> I got a new video coming to show you how I make my candles. But anyways, simple, simple, simple and cute. I made this big old candle. It smells so good. This bowl is from Ross and I use Dollar Tree candles with some scented oils. Um, and I have my match holder, a cloche here, um, some candles, a book, a magnifying glass on this acrylic holder. So nice, so simple, and so beautiful. This credenza, Credenza, I get this from Wayfair. This mirror, I get from either Wayfair or Overstock. 
these two um, themes that I have on the wall, the gold ones, I get those from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I think that sums up this. I just wanted it to be simple and glam all at the same time because uh, my style now is really turning to turning into a modern glam neutral aesthetic that's my goal so if you like a modern look with a hint of glam because i like mirrors and i love gold and that's kind of classified as as glamish um I'm not really a glam girl, but I like some elements of glam because I am obsessed with gold. I put that shit on everything. <laughs> I'm, that was so goofy. I'm so sorry. Anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Anyways, I love me some gold. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I love me some gold. Um, so that's why I call my style modern, glam, neutral aesthetic because I love the golds, I love the whites, I love the, the creams, I love the beige, I love the browns and my whole house is going to be that, that, in that, uh, color scheme with pops of color. Okay. You get it. All right. So let's move on. So that's the look of this. I forgot how much I paid for this base. I wanted to say it's 39 and the smaller one was 21. So maybe this one was 29 and this one was 21. And I got it from Ross. I got it a while ago. And I've been in Ross 4, 5, 10, 20 times since I purchased these. And I don't think that they have them anymore. But you can try your luck and see. All right. Let's move on to the next thing. So, the next thing that I want to show you guys, and I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit because I don't want you to see my stash, right? I have a stash under the coffee table. That's right. That's what I said. Uh, so, when, it, when we talk about greenery, if you guys know me, you know that I am a greenery type person. I'm not really a lot, I like a lot of florals. And if I do have florals, you already know that tulips and hydrangeas and roses are like, uh, I think it's called penalties. I don't know. Those are like my favorite flowers. You're probably going to throughout my whole house, you're going to see the same looking flower because I love the same type of flower. But I absolutely love anything green. And I purchased two of these from um, Home Goods. They were $19.99 for two. And look how beautiful this is. Gorgeous. Now, I love this so much that I am going to... I've made one of these before. And I want to make them in a gold vase. So stay tuned for seeing that. I'm going to make this, y'all. Period. This is so easy to make. Making the candles and making this is very easy. So I'm going to do a DIY. I want to show you how to get this. Because all of this comes in a pack from Amazon. Boom. I bet you didn't know that. But I didn't make this one. But I can make one very similar to this. And this was $19.99 at Home Goods. And that's pretty much all I have on the tables here. Just the little greenery plant and a lamp. Uh, to me, that's just me. I already have a lot going on on my credenza, my my table, and my bookcase. To I didn't want to over decorate my end tables. And you guys know I have tons of decor that I could have used on my end tables, but mm, I'm just not gonna do all that. I just feel like that's enough. I felt like that was enough. Okay, so let's move on to the sofa. Now, when it comes to the sofa, you guys, um, I do not want a pillow that I cannot karate chop or make the funny ears on. So most of these pillows, actually all of these pillows are pillow covers from Amazon except this one here. This pillow that I have in the very in the middle here, I got it from Home Goods and it was $39 a while ago. 
But the rest of these pillows, the green one, the gold and white one, the pretty gold and white one at the back, and this brown one, all of these pillows come from Amazon. They are pillow covers with feathered feel inserts. Now, the reason I chose to go with this color is because of the pictures. Now, what I realized is um, that I love big, nice looking pictures. Now, these two pictures um, that's on this back wall are from Kirkland's. And I want to say they were one. 50 or 169 each and I bought them for Kirkland's what I love about these pictures is They have gold white brown and they have a small hint of this green In this picture and I just wanted to bring this color out now when you put this to it to the picture You can see the little hint of green But I just wanted to tie in a color and I thought this went really well with this picture now you can also use this shade and make this shade like a gray color but I don't think I I don't particularly think that gray would look good in this space so I opted to do green so the pillows rule of thumb is to make sure you have different size pillows so you can have your pillows staggered again you guys if you are wanting to have that pillow to do that karate chop in it you make sure that your your pillows are your inserts are feather filled and make sure you size up with your inserts bigger than your actual pillow cover example if this pillow cover is a 18 by 18 you do a 20 by 20 insert if your pillow is a 22 by 22 you do a, a 20 if your pillow pillow uh, cover is a 22 by 22 you do your 24 by 24 insert and so on and so forth okay because the fuller and bigger the insert is the more you will be able to do that karate chop okay your karate, your um, feather fill pillow inserts can come in the regular size, all different sizes. And don't forget, you guys, they also can come in the um, oblong as well. And I have a pillow insert in this one too. So you can do your chop here as well. Okay? Okay, y'all. So let's talk about my bookcase that I have here. I am still loving my bookcase um, for two reasons. One reason, I still like this bookcase and I didn't have anywhere for it to go. I still like this bookcase and I didn't have anywhere for it to go, but it actually looks good right here. Um, and what I did was just decorated my bookcase with extra decor that was hanging around. And I change it up periodically with different decor on it because I have so much decor, I can kind of change it up to the different um, colors that I'm using in the front room. So these green um, and white things here, I got them. I got candles in the inside. I got these from Home Goods. This one was $12.99 and this one was $9.99. And I just love this green color. And um, the rest of this stuff, some all of this stuff that's on here is from um, Home Goods and Ross. And a lot of the times, y'all, y'all know, I just take different um, decor pieces that I have and I just decorate my bookcase with it. That's it. Nice and simple. Um, on this nightstand here as well, I ended up doing um, a very plain, simple nightstand, nightstand end table because, like I said, I did not want a lot of decor on my end tables. There's enough decor to go around that I did not have to put it on the nightstand. Why well, I keep saying nightstand on the end table? And to me, a nightstand... To me, an end table should not be over decorated. You can do a minimal of two things on. You already got your lamp. 
on here. So why would you want to over decorate it? I mean, you could put something on either side of the lamp and something small in front of the lamp, but you don't want to overdo your end table, especially if you already have a lot of decor in the space. My thing is when it comes to pillows and my chairs if i have an abundance of pillows on my sofa i just don't want to see a lot of uh pillows in my chairs i just feel like it's just overkill so i always opt to do an oblong pillow and i just love the simplicity of an oblong pillow that's just my opinion and that's just how i roll okay you can do what you want to do it's your home you can do it the way that you want to do but i just don't want to see a crap load of pillows everywhere i already have enough on the sofa so i'm not about to put a ton of pillows in my chair so if i do do it it's going to be something as simple as this and if i don't do that style i do this one and to me that's more than enough in a chair okay boom let's talk this beautiful coffee table nice and simple i have so many of these things i think they're from ross and when i was going through my decor i was like oh my god i need to start using these again I, use, I have one on the bookcase, and I have one here, but I have a lot of these, and I absolutely love it. So what I did was I took my vase that I got right here from Inspire Me Home Decor, and I filled it with these beautiful... Now, these are the other flowers that I was saying that I love. I don't know the name of them. If you guys know the name of them, comment and let me know what it is down below. But this, these flowers, lilies... I mean, this flower, yeah, lil this flower, lilies and hydrangeas and tulips are my favorite flowers. So, of course, you know I have my tray here that's not never ever going anywhere and my candles. This stuff here is for this front room and I am going to always use it in the front room, move it around, but it's actually going to stay in the front room. And you guys know I am simple when it comes to table styling. Very, very, very simple, but elegant. Okay? Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember this tree that I put in here and changed that vase. Well, here it all, here it is again in my living room and it looks so good in here. Remember when I DIY this? I still love it in here. Okay, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this chatting while styling video. And I really think that that's the direction I wanna start doing my videos in because a lot of times to turn on the camera, I get a little overwhelmed with doing that. And I just figured that if I would decorate the space, get up close and personal and give you my thought process on how and why I decorated my space, I think that you guys would enjoy that. Because a lot of times people ask like, well, what made you do that here? Or what design should I do? Or what made you think about doing this color in there? And that's where I can kind of go into my thought processes of why and how I decorated this space. So I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that you can get some inspiration and motivation from this video. So I call this chatting while decorating or I don't know, chatting while decorated. Just let's just chat. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. You do not want to miss my videos. Stay tuned, you guys. I have some really nice things to haul with y'all. So you heard that? I have some really nice things to haul with y'all. Some really nice things to haul with y'all. Some really nice things to haul I love you guys. Toodles!
if you're thinking about